Hi, welcome to Tadcaster Fire Station. Red watch, red watch attention. Red watch, reporting for duty. Hi there, I'm Stephen Saw, I'm a firefighter here at Tadcaster. Behind me is our fire engine where we keep all our kit and equipment for emergencies. Let's have a look and see what's in the lockers. So what we've got here then, this is our locker where we keep all our equipment to deal with car accidents. So we've got a couple of big power tools in here. We've got our engine what powers the power tools. We've got our spreaders which is basically like a giant pair of pliers. We use those for removing doors, booms, things like that. And we've got our cutters which is basically a giant pair of scissors which we use to cut various parts off the car if we need to. This big red thing we've got here is our pump. So if you imagine behind this pump inside the fire engine there's a giant tank of water. These here, three deliveries here, they're like our taps. And this is like a bathtub, this is how we get our water out so we can use it to start putting out fires and things like that. This locker is where we keep our equipment for putting out fires. So for a sort of smaller fire, we use this, it's a nice hose, and on the end of it it's basically like a giant water pistol we use to spray water onto the fire. For a bigger fire though, we need something with a bit, with a bit more water. So we've got these red hoses here, and these attach onto the pump that you saw at the back in the little taps that I showed you and we put on the end of these, it's called a branch and this is basically like another water pistol that we use to send water onto the fire to put it out. We've only got 2,000 litres of water on the fire engine so if we need more what we can do is we can take this portable pump and we can use it to take water from something like a lake or a pond and we can use that to fill water into the fire engine using the red hose then we've got a lot more water to use on a much bigger fire. Once the fire's out we can use this giant fan here and that'll get rid of, help get rid of all the smoke inside the building to make sure it's clear and safer for us to go inside, have a look and check and make sure everything's okay. When we're responding to emergencies, we can't wear this. We need to wear something that protects us and keeps us safe. So we wear something called fire kit and it's important that we can get changed into that quickly. So I'm going to show you that now. So we keep our fire kit folded up in a special way so we can get changed into it quickly. So, myself and Firefighter Haswell are going to have a race so you can get changed the fastest. Three, two, one, go. When we go to a fire, there's loads of smoke and stuff created which is really dangerous for us to breathe in. So we need something to help us breathe. We call that breathing apparatus and that's stored here. So this is our breathing apparatus. This allows us to breathe around fires. So we've got a cylinder on the back here. That's full of air. That'll give us enough air for about 20, 25 minutes of work. And we've got this tells us how this body down here, that tells us how much air we've got. And this will keep me safe in smoke. Now I've shown you around the fire engine. Let's have a look at us doing some training. Bruce Peter, get to work! Don't go to slip! Slip!
Well, that was the fun part, giving you a look round at what we do and the equipment that we have. This is the serious part, to give you some advice about keeping yourself, family or people that look after you safe from fire at home. If unfortunately there is a fire in your home, remember this saying, get out, get the fire brigade out and stay out. Now I'll tell you what that means. Get out, leave your house in the safest way possible, don't run, shouting help, fire, as loud as you can. Leave all together as your family or the people that you live with. Don't stop to get anything valuable or your favourite toy or try and rescue your pets. It is our job to do that. Get the fire brigade out. If you have a mobile phone or somebody with you has one, you know what number to ring? 999. Ring it immediately. Ask for the fire brigade. It is important to learn your address, where you live. So you can pass it on to the fire control operator who will let the fire crews know where to go. Stay out. Never go back into your house once you are out of it. It will not be safe until the firefighters let you know it is. Remember, it is our job to rescue your pets and animals if they are still inside. Now what happens if you can't get out? Well the main thing is, shut your door so that the smoke can't get in. And then also, with clothes or a towel or your bed covers, block the bottom of the door to stop any more smoke getting in under the door. If your door is shut and you want to know if there is a fire outside, you can test the door handle with the back of your hand, but only the back of your hand. Don't use the palm, always the back. Now that your door is shut, stay low and make your way to the nearest window. Open it as far as you can, taking care that you don't fall out and shout as loud as you can, help fire until somebody can hear you and then they can notify the fire service. Remember, do not open your bedroom door once it is shut. Now, do you know what this is? I'm sure you do. That's right, it's a smoke alarm. Now I'm sure you've all seen these before in your own homes, usually one downstairs, one upstairs and on every other floor that you may or may not have. Now why do we have them? Well that's because when we are asleep, our ears are the only sense that we have that is still properly working. So we won't be able to see anything or smell anything. And a smoke alarm does that for us. It is our eyes and our nose. Now the main reason why this is important is because this will wake us up by detecting smoke. And another reason is we have to make sure we test them regularly. Now the best way to remember that is to ask an adult once a month if they can test it for you because it's highly unlikely that you're going to be able to reach and possibly your adults aren't going to be able to reach but what you will do is you would press this button in the middle while it's on the ceiling and it will make the smoke alarm noise. Let's go and see how we test it. So as I said, we usually find our smoke alarms on the ceiling and most people aren't gonna be able to reach them, but we still need to test them. And there are two ways we can do that. Firstly, you must ask the adult to do it and they will use either a pointy stick or a set of step ladders safely to go up and test it. This is how we're going to do it now and this is what it sounds like. Yeah, we know ours works. We hope you enjoyed your virtual tour of Tadcaster Fire Station. Don't forget, stay home, stay safe.